Well, hi, folks, and welcome to Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to build your successful art business, but also how to unleash your creative talent as well. Welcome to today's show, and in today's show, we are going to be talking about something really, really exciting. Welcome. Okay, folks, and welcome to today's show. Before we get started, I just want to give a special shout out to our sponsors, which is Outreach Art. We're going to be talking about them a lot in today's show. They're the best at what they do in online art courses because they understand their students and courses can be tailor-made to each student. We've got everything there from introduction to painting to seascapes to how to paint horses, everything from beginners to advanced. If you're looking for an amazing course there, that is the place that you are going to find it. And of course, they are our sponsors and we want to thank them for that. We also want to say, folks, if you love the content that we put out there and you would love to support us, please do feel free to do so at patreon.com forward slash outreach art. It is a way that our business can grow. It's a way that we can develop it, our filming materials, our studio, and so much more. You'll be supporting a great cause. I'm going to absolutely love you to do so. Okay, folks, so in today's show, we're talking about the coronavirus. Now, a lot of people are scared to death of the coronavirus right now because it's spreading really rapidly. People are panic buying toilet rolls, hand sanitizer, and even cat litter. Although what they're going to do, maybe that's, maybe that's when they've run out of toilet roll that they're going to use cat litter. That's maybe how desperate it will get. I jest. I jest, but at some point your country may become in lockdown. I know here in sunny Scotland there has been talk and potential of closing down schools um, should even one person get the coronavirus. So what do you do? A lot of people are going to be thinking, great, now I've got my kids at home, it's an unplanned holiday, I can't go to work, we can't go really outside, and we're stuck together. Well folks, never fear because once again John Morris is here once again bringing light, life and love and something for you guys to do that you will absolutely love. And you're probably going to know where I'm going with this because we want to tell you about brand new art courses that are available at Outreach Art. Because, hey, let's face it, there is nothing worse than kids, particularly that are bored, fed up, don't have anything to do. There is only so long that you can sit and play on your phone and play with gadgets. Why not learn something while you're in the comfort of your own home? These courses have been put together specifically and specially for people all over the world that have been housebound and that need to do something from the comfort of their own home. Hey, if the coronavirus hits, how much more housebound can you actually get than that? So folks, we wanted to give you a special invite to go over to Outreach Art. Dot org, okay? You can check out the courses. They are great value for money. We're building some brand new ones all the time, folks, so you can always be certain that there is something there and it's exciting for you. Okay, so what do you do with the coronavirus? Because people have been asking me, John, what would your advice be? Why, I don't know, but here's my answer. Number one would be wash your hands, okay? This should be simple practice. This is something your mum and dad should have taught you when you were at home. And when you were young, you wash your hands. Don't go around touching people that you don't need to touch, okay? Don't go around snogging people because that's how it's going to be passed. You know, try and just use a little bit of common sense. If you're going to sneeze, cover your mouth. The amount of people recently that my wife and stories that I've heard from the United States where people had sneezed and didn't even bother covering their mouth. Folks, it's disgusting. You gotta cover your mouth. But like Italy, once the virus is there and it spreads, then there isn't very much you can do, okay? But I think people do need to stop panicking, okay? I get it's a scary time, it's a scary thing, but as people have said to me this morning, look, obesity kills more people every single day than the coronavirus, so does flu, so does old age, and there isn't that panic. Where the panic is coming is number one from the media, so be very careful on who you're listening to, but number two, because it's spreading so quickly. Now I'll be honest, I have colitis, I've got a number of health issues. If I, if a member of our family had the coronavirus, they would be in isolation, okay? We literally could split the house in two and we'd be okay. I know not everybody can do that, but, you know, it is really, really important to just stop and think a little bit. Okay, we've got this. You have to adapt, okay? You... We are a race of human beings that have survived an ice age. Some of the worst fires, some of the worst flooding and weather known to man at this point in history. And are you telling me that we can't survive a virus? Is that going to be the thing that you're telling me is going to wipe out the human race? No, of course not. Most of the people that have been affected by corona 
are older and they've had underlining health issues. So as long as you don't go around snogging people that you don't know, or even those that you do know, as long as you keep washing your hands and if you are gonna sneeze or cough, for goodness sake, please cover your mouth, then you should be okay. Don't take any unnecessary risks. That's gonna be my advice to this, folks, okay? It will eventually die off. These things always do, but just be a little bit more sensible. That's all I ask. And as I say, if you're looking for things to do, because I guarantee you, we've already had some clients through from Italy that have been literally been like, help me please, my son or daughter's driving me insane. We've got great art courses. You could buy the entire catalog of our library and that would keep them satisfied for probably about two or three weeks. Okay, if they're gonna do one after the other. But, I jest, but I'm being serious, folks. If you are really, really interested and you're looking for something to do, they are great courses. It is literally like having me in the room with you. And plus, you're going to have amazing one-on-one -on -one customer service should you get stuck. Because, hey, guess what? We do everything right from here, and we've got a beautiful facility and studio in which we're able to teach, so you're guaranteed some awesome content that's there. As I say, introduction to painting, how to paint horses, how to paint wolves, how to paint the bear, seascape courses, and so much more available out reachart.org. I'm bringing you light, life, and love, folks. If you're looking for something to do, if you're looking for something to keep your, your children occupied, but also something that you can do as a family, head to outreachart.org. You will absolutely love them. As I say, folks, be sensible. Don't take unnecessary risks and visit outreachart.org for some amazing art teaching. Um, and we're building up Art Through the Ages and so much more. It, it has been delayed with filming as we're taking it now into episodes, uh, into an episode format. Um, but it means that you are going to get the best products that we can absolutely put together. And that's the ultimate aim for you guys. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Again, we want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, OutreachArt.org. They're the best at what they do because they understand their students. Their online courses are second to none and you will not find better value anywhere else for your money. That much I can guarantee you personally. If you would like to support us on Patreon, please do feel free to head to patreon.com forward slash outreach out where you can support us. For the first tier, I believe you get some incredible art prints. It's one a month for tier one. For tier two, you get some amazing art teaching and you can also, also, how awesome is this? You can use a one-time tier to commission me to do a very, very special painting for you. And all information is there at patreon.com forward slash outreach art. And we would love you to support us and partner with us as well, because it means we can grow and we can develop as well. Folks, I've been your host, John Morris, the painter of memories. And this has been Art Tips with John, the show that teaches you not only how to build a successful art business, but also how to unleash your creative talent. Remember, outreachart.org, when your kids are bored and you're screaming and you're pulling out your hair, that is the place to go. You'll keep them quiet. You'll get some amazing art teaching there and you'll be amazed at what they can achieve and how it builds their confidence as well. And when the doors open again and the world is all right as it should be, you'll be able to go out there with a brand new talent and say, hey, look at me. Well, all your friends were sitting there in the phone. You'd say, hey, look at me. I was actually learning something brand new. It's all exciting. And who knows where that will take you. It's an incredible world, folks. There's a lot to be excited about. It's just a little blip just now. And that's all it is. It's a drop stitch in life's tapestry. Until next time, take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon.